Today I'm replacing this valve spring in place on this engine. This is a two liter TSI engine or TFSI, whatever, it's from an Audi. And um, yeah, he, the guy wants just the spring replaced and doesn't want the rest of them done. Just the one broke, it's a manufacturer defect, I believe. Um, it's an aftermarket cylinder head. So I gave him the option. I said, you can replace all the springs if you're paranoid about them now, which kind of makes sense. Or we can just kind of replace this one and see, you know, maybe the, maybe the rest are fine. So whatever the case, all I'm doing here is I just hooked up my my cylinder leak t detector and uh, just kind of it's showing about 10%, a little bit more than that um, leakage. But whatever the case, made sure all the valves were shut, pistons all the way down, um, and uh, yeah. So bolted this fixture on. This is not for this application. This is just a you know old one that we used for all kinds of motors a long time ago. Here's the manufacturer the part number it, it works fine it works on a lot of different applications being that it's kind of uh, it's got big slotted holes where you can bolt it however you want and then you can adjust the height of the rod that you're prying against with those big threaded bolts and then uh, you just get in here and you're pretty much gonna just rock up against it so here it is I got a lot of pressure on the I got pressure on the uh, valve so the valves not going anywhere and then I can just push down on this rod that I'm just prying up against this. Push down on this rod and collapse that spring, pull the keepers out and get the new one and kind of get it in there the same way. Um, I have a lot of stuff in place here. It'd be easier if I was to, you know, pull some of this stuff out of my way, but this will work just fine. So, that's all. Thanks.